guys, in this quick tutorial I'm going to be showing you some of the best HD render settings which I use for my videos and uh, they look good, they look great and they also have a very small file size so they're easy to upload to YouTube and other places on the internet. So what I do, I make sure in my 3D program, so Cinema 4D or 3ds Max, for my render settings I go in, make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080 so we get a nice 1080p render. For my resolution I choose 72 and my frame rate I always make sure that is on 30. Now once I've got all that sorted I go ahead and render it out and I'm going to go ahead and import that into After Effects. Now inside After Effects I go to Composition and a New Composition and you're going to choose the same 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio and the pixel aspect ratio I set to square pixels, the frame rate again to 30 frames per second and the duration is however long and we'll click OK. Now one thing you're always going to make sure is the bits per channel down here so if you're in the project window you'll see the 8 BPC here if you hold alt on your keyboard and you click on that it's going to change through 8, 16 and 32 if you go ahead and put that onto 32 we're going to get a nice smoother gradient and we're going to reduce color banding so if I go ahead and show you this and uh, we'll make a new solid and we're just going to make a mask and we're going to feather it out F on the keyboard. Now you see if we have this on 8 bits per channel, it's going to be quite rough around the edges. You're going to see there, you get some quite noticeable color banding. Now, if we go ahead and change that onto 32 bits, you're going to see it's a lot smoother towards the edges. Another thing you can do to reduce this is layer, new adjustment layer. I'm going to add a film grain on top, so we'll go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and we will add Grain, which is the top one. Uh, if we set this to the final output, and usually for the intensity I do 0.1, and the size also 0.1. And again, that's just going to smooth out this gradient towards the edges there. So. That's the main things inside After Effects. Once you've got that sorted, we're going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. And these settings here, for the render settings, I choose Best Settings, which is the full resolution and the frame rate at 30 frames per second. We'll hit OK. For the output module, I use QuickTime, which is down towards the bottom there. And under the Format Options, under the Video Codec, I use H.264. Now this is going to mean that you get a nice small file size along with a HD render. So make sure the quality is on 100 and hit OK. Uh, you can check the audio if you're going to render audio as well. I have the channels to RGB, the depth to millions of colors and the color to pre-multiplied. And we'll hit OK. Now the last thing you need to do is go to the output and you're going to go ahead and save it wherever you want. Hit save and then we'll click render. And now you're going to be left with a nice 1080p HD render and it's going to have a nice small file size so you can upload that to YouTube or Vimeo and it's going to be really nice and quick to do. So I hope this was helpful and yeah, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.